Um, the officer brought it out well in the spirit. Uh, at ease, at ease, man, at ease. All right, brother. So you were saying something about uh, what was your statement you were just making? Noah had three sons. Uh huh. Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Uh huh. All right. Japheth means the beautiful. Uh, Ham, I believe it. Uh, uh, I can't remember what it was, but I think uh, uh, Shem is uh, uh, he who is the promise of the uh, the word to go through. So more or less, you have these three sons, these three colors. No, that's not that's not true, brother. According, not, that's not true according to the Bible, at least. All right, because what are we out here doing? We out here reading what? what what's your name, brother? Michael. Michael. What's your name? Excuse me, David. That's a mighty name. We out here reading the Bible. We out here giving solutions and instructions to our people based on the Bible. So guess what we're gonna talk? Uh, guess we're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it biblical. All right. So with that, hold on, because you made a point. I'm gonna deal with it. All right. Give me Genesis two and seven again, because you said that they were three colors. We can prove to you out of the Bible that every na every nation of people God created in the, in the beginning was black. Okay? What happened? Like the offer was going over in Genesis 25, that's when the first different color of person this first came on the earth. But listen good, Mike. Read. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. Uh -huh. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of ground. So the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground. What color is the dust of the ground? Dark. Huh? Dark. Dark, right? What kind of dark? Is it uh, dark purple? Is it dark red? It's dark brown. Like the officer stated, the digger you deep, the dark you get. Hold on, let me finish my point. Okay. Then I'll let you go. It said, the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground. We all agree to the dust of the ground being brown, correct? Oh, there's, different, not, there's different colored dust. Brother, let's, 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 let's keep it 100% real. 90% of the dust on the earth is brown. Okay, you may have some red dust here and there throughout. But the, 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 okay, black dust. No, we're talking about the dust of the ground, brother. Okay, give me, hold on, hold on, hold that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, brother. What's you say, Michael? Give me uh, 14 and 2, Jeremiah. Give me Jeremiah 15 and 2. I'm going to prove to you because what happened, a lot of you Ephraimite brothers, y'all have a problem with the image of Christ. Y'all have a problem because Christ is a black man. But we're going to deal with you, brother, because you got to understand what happened to y'all um, original pigmentation. I don't got no Read. problem with that. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Judah mourneth, and it gates thereof language. They are black. What color are the Jews? They are black. What color are the Jews? They are black. So the Jews are black. Now give me um give me Job. Let's get see the color of Job. What you're gonna find out is the prophets in this Bible, looking when God formed man from the dust of the ground, they was black, brother. So you're saying that Hold on, I'm gonna make my point, then I'll let you go. Read. Job chapter 30, verse 30. My skin is black upon me. What color is Job? My skin is black upon me. What color is the prophets of the Bible? My skin is black upon me. What color was Adam? My skin is black upon me. Now let's go back to Genesis 2 and 7. We're going to prove to you Adam was a black man and the rest of the prophets are black. But then we're going we're gonna to see what happened to our brothers. After, uh, what happened to y'all while y'all had lost some pigmentation? All right, read. Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground come on and breathe into his nostrils the breath of life so we just read the jews was black Job was black we can go all day king solomon we could, everybody in the bible was black now we can, okay that's first and foremost and we've proven it outside of the book of genesis what does genesis mean i got a question hold on brother we're gonna deal with this then we're gonna answer your question keep that thought what does the word genesis mean in the beginning. The beginning. The beginning, they was black. Hold on, brother. Oh, hold on. I'm going to deal with your question. You got to be patient. We're we going to make our point, and then we're going to get to the next question. The book, read it again. Genesis 2 and 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. And we all established that what? The dust of the ground is black. It's brown. It's different shades of brown, the dust of the ground. That's, you can't get around that. You can't get no clearer than that. What you can do is play some medicine and say, okay, well, some dust is this, some dust is that. But look at the dust right now, brother. And what you tell me what color? What color is that dust right there? That's dark. So stop playing games. We out here to get solutions to our people, whether they want to hear it or not. Now, give me um, Genesis 25 and 25. We're gonna we're gonna show you the uh, the first. We're gonna show you through history the first um, time a brother was created or a man was created who had no pigmentation, who was actually not black. Give me Genesis 25. Genesis chapter 25, verse 21. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife. 
because she was barren. Uh -huh. And the Lord it was entreated of her. Come on. And Rebecca, his wife, conceived. Uh -huh. So she was she was barren. Alright? And then but she the Lord she entreated uh, Isaac entreated for her and she gave her a, a, a womb to carry a seed in. Read. And the children struggled together within her. So the children together is two so it's two it's twins in her womb. And they struggled, meaning they was fighting inside of the womb, read. And she said, If it be so, why am I thus? Lord, if you bless me, why am I having these uh pains? Why am I having these stomach pains? Read. And she went to inquire of the Lord. Come on. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. Two what? Two nations are in thy womb. What is a nation? A nation is a race of people, correct? Can you agree with that? Uh, David, how about you, Michael? Is a nation a race of people or not? Okay, read on. And two manner of people. Okay, two people with different mannerisms. One brother like his steak well done. One brother like his steak rare. One brother, um, do just do, they do things totally different. That's what it means, two manner of people. Read. And two manner of people uh, shall be separated. Shall, no, shall be joined together. Shall be separated. No, shall be equal. Shall be separated Read. from thy bowels. Come on. And the one people uh -huh. shall be stronger than the other people. And one of these nations of people going to be stronger than other nations. This is what God talking. Read. And the elder. And who? And the elder shall serve the younger. Uh -huh. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. Come on. And the first came out red. Read. All over like an hairy garment. Read on. And they called his name Esau. Uh-huh. So is that is that it on that verse? Yes, sir. Okay, so the reason why we went to that verse, I'm just getting straight to the point. I, it's, a lot, it's a lot to cover right there, but I'm getting straight to the point that we're dealing with about the color of people. So it said, read that read that verse again. And the first came out red uh -huh. all over like a hairy garment. So the first man came out red all over like a hairy garment. Read. And they called his name Esau. And his name was called Esau because Esau means wasted away as he. Read. He and, had no pigment. He was red. And read on. And after that came his brother out. So why didn't they describe his brother? They described, they gave a description on Esau. And when you continue to read, they give more description about Esau. Why didn't they give any description about Jacob? Uh, David. I'll give, I'll give huh? I'll Hold on. Yeah, I'm going to ask David, then I'm going to ask you. Okay. Probably look like his mom. Okay, you say he probably like his mom. What about you, Michael? It doesn't matter, bro. It doesn't matter. So Everything bad. in the Bible matters, brother. You, every word. The, the Bible said that every word you shall live by. This is what you're okay, about. read it again. And after that came his brother out. brother said it don't matter. Hold on. Every word in the Bible of God matters. Right. Every word that God speaks matters. You know why we go through these conditions that we suffer? Because we say stuff don't matter in the Bible. What matters to the black and Hispanic men? We going to teach it as it is written, brother. Read it again. After that came his brother out. Uh-huh. And his hand took hold on Esau's heel. So it gave no description of uh, Jacob because Jacob was brown. Just like everybody else, like we read Genesis 2 and 7. God threw a man from the dust of the ground. The Job was black. King Solomon was black. All the brothers and sisters in the Bible was black. But it was noted about Esau because he was different. Right. Why I was noted. Okay, whether you like it, accept it or not, we're gonna teach it as it is written. Give me um Romans 3 and 1. Read. He said I'll give my shot. Alright, hold on, I'm making my point. Alright, I'll read that when you get it. Romans chapter 3, verse 1. Read. What advantage then have the Jew? What advantage do you black and Hispanic man get? Read. Or what profit is there of circumcision? What profit is you uh, not committing sin and repenting? Read on. Much every way. Much in every way we got an advantage over the in the earth, brother. Whether so we look at the when you look at the conditions that we are in, we may think there's no advantage, but God said we gotta advantage much in every way at the end of the day when it's all said and done. Read chiefly, mainly because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. Because the Bible was given to the black and Hispanic man, which is our instructions. We have failed so far from the Bible that we out here in 2020 saying things in the Bible don't matter. Everything in the Bible matters. Freedom matters. I don't know 
know about y'all brothers, but we want free. We tired of living in these conditions that we are in. And we're going to give you freedom throughout the Bible. Hold that and give me John 8, verse 32. The book of St. John, chapter 8, verse 32. Let's see what Christ said. Because, brothers, can you get, it's 2020, everything in the Bible matters, bro. Read John, chapter 8, verse 32. Come on. And ye shall know the truth. And you shall know what? And ye shall know the truth. Read. And the truth shall make you free. So we want Christ said the truth is going to make you free. The words in this Bible is going to free your man from all the cobwebs that is in. Okay, we're not out here dealing with the book of Enoch because that's not in the Bible. We're not out here dealing with the book of Adam. We're not out here dealing with the Egyptian book of the dead. We're not out here dealing with none of those books if it's contrary to the Bible. Can that give me Revelations 2.25? Because let's see what God said. Every Remember, every word in this Bible matters. Give me Revelation chapter 2, verse 25. Read it when you get it. Revelation chapter 2, verse 25. But that which ye have already, uh -huh. hold fast till I come. You hear what Christ said? He said? Read it again. But that which ye have already. What do we have already? We got the oracles of God. We got the Old Testament, the Torah, the New Testament. We got the apocryphal books. Christ said what? Hold fast till I come. Read it again from the top. But that which ye have already. This Bible that you got, hold. This Bible that you got, read. Hold fast till I come. Till he come and get a pure understanding of everything. So right now, this is what we're going to hold on to. Because we're not dealing with all these other books, brother. The, the scripture said, Isaiah 34 and 16. Let's see what the Bible, what, what else the Bible say. All right, hold on, brother. We're going to make this point right here. Isaiah 34 and verse 16. Are we, what, what book are we to seek out of? Read when you get it. Isaiah chapter 34 verse 16. Come on. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. No, seek ye out of the book of Enoch. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. Seek ye out of the book of Adam. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. You won't find none of those books you're talking about, brother, inside of this Bible. We're going to seek out of the book of the Lord and do what? And read. Come on, why? No one of these shall fail. Because nothing in this Bible ain't going to fail. Fail. It was prophesied that your people was going to go into captivity on slave ships. It was prophesied that your people was going to have another nation of people come over in their land and, and, and take it. They had them working on their land for free after they took and snatched their resources. That was prophesied about your people in this Bible. But you got to be humble enough to sit back and learn so you can see that's in there. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth